Hey guys and gals, um, I've been using a cool little trick, tip, shortcut. Again, this is not a substitute for the process or for enrolling in lessons or, and specifically we're enrolling in some of my uh, pedagogical specific courses like upper register, technique, lead trumpet playing, breathing. But I have found that this is a very potent and quick results producing technique. And I call it the frozen lip bend. I've scoured Google, YouTube, even that crappy little site called Vimeo. Uh, no, there's, there's nobody else that has come up with this. So the date of this video will be the copyright for this particular technique. It's the frozen uh, lip bend. We could almost call it deep frozen lip bends. And so you've seen people uh, demonstrate lip bends almost in a half step fashion and it, it looks impressive. They're doing things like um, doing that in ninth grade folks I mean come on <laughs> so when you see someone a pro that's screwing around dipping like that uh, that's kindergarten stuff you want to you want to go up to the to the heavyweight league with the big boys then you do deep deep lip bends on any brass instrument not this little half step bullshit jargon that's not going to get you anything so here we go um, I like to play um, the uh, the F sharp in the in the G progression down. So play the F sharp. Now no valve. Soft and increase dynamics. Control baby, back it off. Okay, now that is the half step lip bend that you hear all the time. Except that was a deep, fro that was a frozen lip bend, not quite deep, but now it's going to get deeper. Now let's go to something that you don't hear anybody doing unless you've watched another of my tutorials on lip bending. We're going to go down to F natural, which is going to be the whole step below G. that baby all the way back to triple pianissimo baby all right this, uh, this is the big boy league and uh, you might not even be able to do what I just did but that doesn't mean that you couldn't do it with a little bit of practice with trying this this takes incredible resilient flexible strong powerful chops to be able to accommodate what I'm showing you now with this technique the deep frozen lip bend Let's go even deeper. Now, you'd never hear anybody, I haven't heard anybody <laughs> lip bend down to an E in this part of the range of the horn on the trumpet. So, G, D, now we're going down a minor third. Let's belt up. Incredible, incredible amount of control there and finesse to be able to accommodate that. Uh, you have a favorite celebrity trumpet player and you're, if you're friends with them, ask them to do what I'm doing. Uh, the odds are very considerable and stacked against them that they won't be able to do that. So well, now we're going to get into the extreme minority of all professional, actually that's not even professional, this is way above professional level of playing. And you have to have worked considerably on the physical aspects of brass playing to be able to accommodate this to go down a major third and control it. So G down to E flat.
down to quadruple piano, ladies and gentlemen. Again, quite an exhibition in resiliency, malleability, flexibility, powerful. Um, what other kind of adjectives can I come up with? This is just um, you really have to have excelled way above the typical professional commercial or orchestral player to be able to do this. Uh, but with this technique, you can. It's not going to happen overnight. But what is going to happen is as you keep working on this, you're going to notice that your sound opens up. Your flexibility just becomes like, like, a, like a hot knife through butter as you go through all registers of the horn and the facility of the horn. It's just going to be a piece of cake. Of course, your range is going to improve. Um, I think that this would be especially good for orchestral players. Uh, because I have a feeling that you're going to be able to open up and get that more brassy resonance on the mid and lower middle register of the horn, which is where a lot of this orchestral music is played, um, especially if you're not principal trumpet. So this could be very bene beneficial if you totally don't like the commercial and jazz idiom of playing and you're more into the classical, this could really benefit you in this particular register. Uh, now. Let's go to no man's land. We're going to go down to perfect fourth. Man, this is like super deep. Uh, this is like the 12 foot um, uh, deep end of the pool where the you know the, the high dive is. So here we go. difficult in fact you even heard me falter a little bit I'm not perfect uh, I'm close to perfect but not no just kidding ladies and gentlemen just kidding well when it comes to looks yeah that's been pretty close but when it comes to playing yeah you know I have my problems so just like everybody else so um, uh, I guarantee you most of you are not going to be able to do that but you do not need to be depressed because you can start just on the F sharp in this progression down from middle G second line middle G for trumpets everybody else you can transpose to uh, the notes in your instrument that would be practical. I've just thrown it out here, for example, probably for trombone, I probably would be playing first position, uh, first position F, uh, that's fourth line F in the bass clef staff. I, for trombone people, I would probably start right there, first position. And uh, then of course, you're gonna have to bend it down without moving the slide, right? So you're gonna find it very, very difficult. But that's just an example if you're playing another brass instrument. Uh, now let's go for the, the quintessential granddaddy gold medal Olympic winner. Um, yeah, if you can get this one and control it, and I gotta be honest with you, sometimes in some days I can't get this one. That's how difficult it is. But that would be going down the tritone from G down to C sharp, um, D flat and harmonic. Uh, this is this is almost a nightmare to try to do on a regular basis and be consistent, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot right now. So we're playing our G down to D flat. Oh, almost didn't get it. Uh, folks, that was rough and tough, rough and tough and tumble. Uh, if you can do that and control it, um, um, you just certainly have to have chops. I would almost bet without hearing you playing anything else that you probably have a good core to your sound, amazing dynamics in all registers, and just great facility all over the horn, whatever brass instrument it is. So this was Kurt Thompson with another amazing proprietary and unique tip, trick, and technique for brass players that you've never heard before. And the date of this video will be its copyright. No one else has done the deep frozen lip bend. Try it. You'll like it. Comment below. I'll see you in the next one.